Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a timeline infographic slide with sticky notes and push pins. So here it looks, the slide. So first it will show you the year 2016. You can see here an orange color with a push pin, the year and icon I have added here. And then with the help of uh, a cello tape, then I have added one more uh, detailed note to it. So when I just click, it will show you for 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020. So you can show your uh, timeline in this way. It looks more beautiful and elegant. And the next one, I have created the four timelines only which is 2016 to 2019 with some different white color and one more slide which I have created is very simple you just have a sticky note and then below you got the text so it's up to you which slide you can use and the download link is available in the description section so let's see how to do this slide in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes under rectangles, select this shape which is a rectangle top corners one rounded and one sniped. Draw this shape, go to rotate, say flip vertical and then flip horizontal. You can see here the two orange buttons. I'm just going to drag this one so you end up with this shape. Shape outline, make it no outline and you can give some light color to this. I'm going to give a green zoom in a little bit go to insert shapes and select right triangle draw the right triangle go to format and flip horizontal shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a transparency level for that right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency level I will zoom the slide right mouse click and just say edit points and this point I'm just going to drag it here and you can see here this white I will just drag to the corners this also I'll just drag a little bit to the corner you have to spend a little bit time here so that it should come perfectly and this one I'm just going to give some drag it inside So you can see here I've got this shape, a curl effect. And I'm going to give some different color, maybe some dark color here. So you can see here, it kind of uh, folded from one side. Let me just reduce the size a little bit. You can see here it's, it looks like a folded from one side. I'm going to select this press ctrl D and I'm going to give a dark color to this a black and increase the transparency level go to effects under soft edges increase the size you can increase it a little bit and then format say send to back And you can give more darker color to this. Or the same color, but I'm just going to increase the, remove the transparency level. All right, so you got this shape now. The next I'm going to draw a push pin. For that, go to insert shapes. 
select a oval shape draw the oval shape and you can give some different color maybe i will just go for a blue dark blue shape outline make it no outline and go to effects shadows give the shadow effect which is inner and you can increase the distance or let me just give some different so that you can see the color you can increase the blur size so you got this shape then I'm going to insert again shapes under basic shapes select trapezoid I'm going to draw a trapezoid tilt a little bit give this also the same color and select this bigger the oval shape reduce the size and put it on the top or you can increase a, a little bit more so you can see here this also i'll just going to give some darker color here and shape outline make it no outline and if you want to give you can give some uh, curve shape also but no need for that and go to shapes and select a rounded corner rectangle shape outline make it no outline and you can just increase the size a little bit and give some gradient color gradient color i'm going to give some metallic i'll just use some dark color then i'll use a white then again one more darker color and one more a lighter color and this type i am going to select linear and let me just select this one so you end up with this shape let me just zoom in reduce the size turn a little bit and put it here and just say send to back so if you see here you have got this shape so this is very big actually let me just reduce the size and select all this shape and press ctrl g to group it and you can paste it here and you can reduce the size of further and give a shadow effect for this so i'm going to use this shadow effect so your push pin is also ready now so i'm going to add some more text or a shape at the bottom first of all i will select all this and press ctrl g to group it and reduce the size so that we can accommodate other this is gone inside so you have to just make it outside the shadow effect right so this is done this is my first uh, sticky note or post-it note and i'm going to add some text here at the bottom let me just add some latin text to it and i put it here go to format shape i'll just make it white and give some shadow effect and increase the blur size tilt a little bit something like this now i'm going to use a, a cello tape or something to stick this one for that let me just zoom in again go to insert shapes and you can draw a rectangle or you can use this also which is 
the free form shape let me just draw a free form shape a kind of let me just draw some like this all right and then shape outline make it no outline and you can give this a dark blue color and increase the transparency level and then just paste it here so you can see here or right mouse click this is too much for i'll just reduce this one all right so you can see that one this is now sticked with a tape and you can add your text here i'll just add a text which is the year 2016 i will just use a font called century gothic make it bold and put it here and you can go to insert icons if you don't have this uh, icons uh, you can download from the nonproject.com also and this icons i think is available from 2016 version and i'm using office 365 for first i'm going to use maybe say something this one and insert and shape i'll fill it with white and put it here so you can see here the first stick point is ready or sticky note select all press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and put it one after the other one two three four or you want you can make it five also let me just arrange it properly so i'll select this 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 and go to format you can just say align distribute horizontally so that it equally distributed and then you can go and change the shape or the color of each for example i'm just going to use maybe a uh, pink this also i'm just going to use some darker pink and then you can select your own colors here maybe i will just go for a blue and this will be a darker blue and then this one will be maybe an orange and there will be a dark orange to it or you can just go here more fill colors and select some dark orange color this is 2016 this is 2017 18 and 19 so the last part remains is the animation you can just do this uh, tilt the other way so it doesn't look good one way only so you can just change the direction and send this to back and this also i rotate it the other way all right so this is how it will look let me just bring this to front back side is not looking good yeah so you got 2016 17 18 and 19 now if you want to add the animations you can add any simple animation to it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye